Laws of finance There are two types of laws of finance. 1. Law of poverty. 2. Law of wealth. 1. Law of poverty This law states that work alone or work under someone and remain poor for the rest of your life. 95% of people in the world are living under this law. The people under this law make use of their credentials. They have ego. They seek for job. They have someone called boss. They receive salary which is fixed amount. Boss stands for B equals building. O equals on. S equals someone. S equals success. Salary stands for S equals something. A equals always. L equals low. A equals A. R equals reduces. Y equals you. These people are called the working class. They always look for job. Job stands for J equals journey. O equals of them. B equals borrowers to law of wealth. This law states that work with a team or group of people and remain wealthy forever. It is just 5% of people in the world that are living under this law. The people under this law make use of their potentials and they are called the thinking class. They think of what to offer to the society and in turn make money. These people they earn their money which is income and it is not a fixed amount. These people are called the thinking class. The difference between these laws is that the people under the underscore law of poverty don't make use of opportunity, while those under the law of wealth make use of any opportunity that comes their way. The wealthy ones make use of ID number and also partnership. They have what is called big dreams, but the poor don't have. Remember these today. Money does not respond to qualifications otherwise the wealthiest people should have been PhD holders. Money does not respond to age otherwise the world's oldest twins would have been the richest. It is not about your degree. It is all about what you do after the degree. Have you noticed that the first class degree holders are not the richest? Neither are the third class degree holders the poorest. There is more to being wealthy than education. The most important thing is mindset and the next thing is a commitment to self-discipline. The only person holding your key to success is you. The secrets to success is for you to be willing to pay the price, but the challenge is that very few are ready and willing to pay the price to succeed. While some are partying and jesting, others are learning, planning, and earning. Don't sit down and complain about where you are, it won't change anything. If you must see changes, the person that must change is you. This message is brought to you from Certims TV. Thanks for listening. To get more video clips, please visit our YouTube channel and click on the subscription button for video clips notifications. Certims TV, we animate life.